catch all the JJ episodes now on Yippee! The sun rose one morning in Tarrytown to begin a very special day. Today was Big Jake's birthday. But why was Big Jake still asleep? Because he was expecting his friends to throw a surprise birthday party for him. And he was dreaming of how much fun that party would be. Huh? Oh. Everybody's gone. Where are they? Oh, I know. Everybody must be outside waiting for me. They'll all shout surprise and throw me a big party. <laughs> well, here goes. Huh? Morning, Big Jake. Morning, Big Jake. Hiya, Big Jake. Morning, young fella. Oh. Uh, Good morning, everyone. Much to his surprise, Big Jake was wrong. His friends all seemed very busy doing other things. Big Jake! Ah, there you are, Big Jake. I've been looking for you all morning. Why? Is there something special that you wanted to tell me, Easy? No, you bet there is. I have an important package for you to carry to a town far away from here. But it's probably going to take you all day to do it. Uh, all day? But... But you know buts, Big Jake. But you better get going right away. <sighs> okay. Well, this was quite a surprise for Big Jake. As hard as it was to believe, it seemed everybody had forgotten his birthday. But he wasn't the kind of plane to let himself get upset. He decided that everyone was so busy with work, they didn't have time for birthday parties. Soon, he was on his way with the package. Ah, great. I thought he'd never leave. All right, everyone, come on. The coast is clear. <laughs> uh, now what do we do, Mr. O'Malley? Well, just as we planned all along, JJ. We get ready for Big Jake's surprise birthday party tonight. Yay! <laughs> so excited! Right, everyone, this is what we're going to do. Okay, JJ. So you see, everybody was just pretending to forget Big Jake's birthday so they could really surprise him later that night. And what a surprise party it would be. Now, we have the whole day to prepare, but he'll be back just after sunset, so we must be ready. Let's go. Don't worry, I'm there. So, JJ and Tracy took off to get ready for the big surprise birthday party. They each thought about the special gift they wanted to give Big Jake that night. Hey, Tracy. Yes, JJ? What are you going to give Big Jake for his birthday? Well, that's easy. I'm going to sing him a song I wrote especially for him. Wow, a song? Uh-huh. Want to hear it? I sure do. He's just a giant of a plane. Takes heavy loads through wind and rain. He'll do it all and not complain. Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. No mistake. Nobody does. He takes the cake. Nobody does things better than Big Jake. Ah, oh, gee, that song was terrific. Thanks, JJ. What do you 
gonna give Big Jake? Why, that's easy. I'm gonna give him... Uh, I'm gonna give him... Chip and Chet! What will I give him? What will I do? What will I give him? Calm down, JJ. You'll think of something. Uh, can you think of something for me? JJ, it has to come from you. A present is something that you think is really special. But I don't know what I think. Oh no, my thinker must be broken. I've got a broken thinker. I need to have it fixed. Oh my, oh dear. Uh, I better go see Brenda Blue. Maybe she can fix it for me. JJ! So, JJ went to visit Brenda Blue to see if she could help. There's nothing wrong with you, JJ. You mean my thinker is okay? Yes, your thinker is okay. You just need to use it to come up with a good idea for a present for Big Jake. Ah, I need an idea. Great, I need an idea. I, I, um, uh, Brenda, when you were trying to think of what to give Big Jake, what was your idea? This. A new propeller? That's a great idea. Thanks. But, um, Brenda, where do ideas come from? Hmm, that's a good question. They come from a lot of different places. Sometimes you can get ideas from talking to your friends. And sometimes they can come to you out of the clear blue sky. You can get ideas out of the clear blue sky? Yep. Whoa! JJ left Brenda Blue's workshop excited because he was going to find his own idea for a birthday present. I've just got to find a good idea for a present. Let's see. Brenda said that sometimes ideas come out of the clear blue sky. Well, the sky is pretty clear today, and it sure is blue. I wonder if I'll see a good idea up here. Huh? Whoa! Look at all those bugs! Wonder where they're going. Hey, bugs! Wait for me! So, JJ followed his new lightning bug friends all over the sky. He was having so much fun that he lost track of time and it was starting to get late. Hmm, Lightning Bug Lake, huh? So I guess these guys must be lightning bugs. Bugs that light up at night like little stars. <gasps> hey, wait a minute. Lightning bugs, that's it. Yes, JJ had finally found his idea. I know what to give Big Jake! <laughs> and he knew that this was a good idea. After all, it had come out of the clear blue sky, just as Brenda said it would. Hey guys, listen up. We've got a job to do. That night, everybody waited for Big Jake to return. Oh well, I'm back and it still looks like no one remembered my birthday. Surprise! Oh, what's this? Happy birthday, Big Jake! See, we did remember after all. And we have a big party planned for you and everything! Well, Big Jake was thrilled. What a great birthday surprise this was! Happy birthday, Big Jake! Yay! Yay! Big Jake, I really wanted to give you a big present, but I couldn't think of anything. Oh, but JJ, you don't have to give me anything. All that matters to me is that you thought of me on my birthday. It's really the thought that counts, you know. Well, I thought about it really hard, and finally I did come up with something special. Big Jake, here's my present to you. Hit it, guys! Oh, 
this? It's your present, Big Jake. A lightning bug show just for you. Great job, guys! Oh, JJ, this is one of the nicest presents anyone has ever given me. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Big Jake. Everyone was having a great time at Big Jake's birthday party. We like the cake and the gifts we got to make. Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does things better than Big Jake. So, that's the story of Big Jake's birthday surprise and how J.J. the jet plane found the perfect present for his good friend.